in the beginning, there were no, there was not many users for um, Wasabi, and it was, I guess it, it was kind of an experiment. Uh, I don't think anybody could have imagined that it was going to get to where it's got today, you know? Maybe Adam did, you know? But <laughs> I didn't imagine, I didn't know if it was going to be successful or not. And, you know, I, I, I couldn't have done. I quickly realized that it probably was going to be once I started to understand it. Um, so in, in that case, the, the current UI that it's got has served a very important purpose, which is it, it got us up and running very quickly. It's got, um, it's become stable reasonably quickly and lots of people are using it. But now it's got to the point where, okay, right, we're now this, we're now this successful wallet and we're able to provide all these features. If we, would we have done the UI the same now mm-hmm. if, if we'd known this was the position we were going to be in a few years ago? And um, in my opinion, we would have had similar concepts, but the UI would probably be quite different. Which, which is why we, 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 we've started work on, uh, Wasabi Wallet 2 and we've, we've got, um, um, the, the great thing is now we've got lots of resources. So we've got UI designers, UX designers, team, a, a whole team just for the UX and implementing that. And, and that's the, the, the direction that we're going in now. I kind of gotten used to it, right? When, when you see the same UI all the time, of course, you know, where is what and where are all the quirks and hidden features. But then I was always. Like whenever I try to onboard somebody new to Wasabi, I could not just give them the software package and say, here, download, install it. Everything will be clear yeah. to you. That was just impossible. No, I had to be there and walk them step by step through everything, uh, to uh, kind of at least guide them with what to look at first, right? Because there was so much, um, all over the place. Yeah. Um, so originally as well, they, they, this, the sort of people who were adopting it, the early adopters, they're already quite technical users. They understood about um, the principles of coin joining and, um, they're usually very enthusiastic and uh, usually quite involved in the Bitcoin community. So for them, they, it was like, Oh, great. We're finding some software that we can actually do all these things that we've been talking about and theorizing for so long. So for those people, the UI were, was great. Although now, really, the the mission for Wasabi is to bring the privacy benefits to anybody who wanted to use Bitcoin. So that's still those same users that we're talking about just now, the early adopters, the people who really understand Bitcoin. But it's also people who were like in my position at the beginning, who Bitcoin's completely new to them and, and okay, they don't understand. They understand the, the, the high level concepts. Okay. I'm going to send some value from one person to another, but they don't really know what the blockchain is or what coin joining is and things like that. So we need to make Wasabi and, and, and fundamentally those privacy available to them without them having to, you know, without them having to have a degree in it <laughs> first. It yeah. needs to, we want to make it, uh, intuitive for mm-hmm. everybody. 